con man. The man in the next lane gestures for me to pull over. A broken brake light, a balding tire about to blow. I obey and do the cursory once over of the helpless with cars. Everything appears in order. But there he is, on foot beside me, pointing to a dent acquired God knows when or how on my driver's side door. He will repair it, he says, for a fee, of course. I wonder at the sheer nerve of my wandering huckster trawling marks from the city streets. He has the patter of a salesman, the hair of a preacher. He is ten years younger than I, not handsome, perhaps, but with a slim mechanic's build and calculating teal eyes. His teeth are long. A small nick mars his upper left incisor. I am middle-aged, middle-class, a little effeminate as I fuss, half-heartedly at his affront. I have somewhere to be, I lie. He finds occasion to touch me twice, once on my upper arm and then, when I don't recoil, more firmly on my lower back. I yield, of course, just as he knew I would, and unpeel a pair of twenties to watch him smooth the dent flat with a ball-peen hammer and a smudged faux chamois cloth. He drove away. I watched a fool and happier for it. I never saw him again. The dent lay hidden for a week, then re-emerged one morning, like desire from flesh, like regret from memory. It's still there. 